Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Thanks for checking out the My Career Path podcast. I'm a little bit more formal today. I always love a good excuse to wear a good Christmas tie, as well as kind of break out our little elf hats and just celebrate the year and celebrate the holiday. Uh, glad to have you here. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 jobs of 2023. I just figured it'd be a good thing to kind of close out the year, looking forward, seeing if there's anything that you might want to consider getting into or kind of start working towards as these jobs are on the up and up and probably going to keep growing as the year goes on. So let's get into it. So let's jump into it. And these are all going to be pulled from money.usnews.com. And that link is going to be down in the description below. Make sure to go check it out. They actually give the 100 top jobs of 2023. I just wanted to go through the top 10 because I think it's a fun way to kind of close out the year. So jumping into number 10 is going to be a dentist. And I think most of us know what a dentist is. If you don't know what a dentist is, you probably want to go find out and go meet one yourself uh, because you might need to have some checkups done. So uh, dentists are, of course, the people in lab coats who care for your teeth and are always telling you to floss. I mean, seriously, every time. (laughs) Uh, One of the first things mentioned in these articles is actually median salary. And which you can see off this graph, this again comes from that same website. The median salary for 2021 is $160,370, meaning a large majority of dentists probably make between $110,000 up to $200,000 per year, which is awesome. If you're a dentist, if you're in kind of these medical fields and you're actually knowledgeable and you know what you're doing, you can actually get paid pretty handsomely. But as far as kind of a career that, hey, if this next year you maybe want to try to something else, try to get into a different industry, it's probably not going to be your best bet. It's not the easiest thing to get into, as with a lot of these medical professions, uh, as there's a lot of schooling required. uh, There's a admission that you have to get through. You have to take more tests and whatnot, uh, like the DAT, which is the dental admission test. And it actually can take up to four hours just to complete that one test. So it might not be the easiest thing for you to kind of jump ship and kind of work towards. But if you're kind of starting out and really wanting to help people and kind of help them in a good way by making their smile brighter and better, it might be an awesome opportunity for you and you can make really good money off of it. So that comes in at our number 10 slot dentist. So coming in at number nine is a web developer. And compared to being a dentist, I think this one has a much lower entry bar. It doesn't take nearly as much schooling. And honestly, it's something you can start doing right now. You can start looking up things online, kind of developing that way. But my favorite thing from this article talks about some of the description of the job. And this was my favorite quote. A lot of the job is explaining technical concepts in non-technical ways. So a lot of it is going to come from you understanding and knowing what's going on and what needs to happen. And then having to explain it to someone who has no idea what's going on. So just making sure that you understand the digital world, making sure you can kind of navigate that so that you can bring people to your site, bring people to your web page. That's kind of a critical key for web development. So the salary of a web developer usually falls between 50,000 and 100,000. You can check that graph out right here. Uh, While it isn't the most high paying job, it is definitely one where you kind of can work your own hours. And if you're really good at it, kind of even open your own business ideas and ventures for with that helping people develop their web pages or their websites, making sure traffic is coming there from Google and other search engines. Um, And it's something you don't necessarily need to have a college degree in computer science to even start doing. There's plenty of classes, plenty of tutorials online that you can start doing today to actually start that web development process. And again, a lot of this is going to come from experience. If it's something that you can start doing as kind of a side hustle and do little uh, jobs here on the side from people you know, who maybe have their own businesses, uh, you can start start developing a strong portfolio and then kind of get into some of these bigger companies like Google or Apple or Microsoft, these big tech companies as you kind of build more experience. And especially in the tech world, experience is critical, much more so than education. People want to know what you've actually done and completed rather than what you know. And so being able to show things that you've actually accomplished, things that you've built to actually drive traffic, help people come, navigate it more easily. These are all keys to success if you want to be a web developer. And it's something you can start doing today. So a lot of the tech jobs that we're going to talk about today, really recommend you kind of looking into that if you're kind of considering changing industries. It's something that you can start learning today. And a lot of the times you can do it for a very, very low cost. So that comes in at our number nine slot. Let's move on to number eight. 
So going into number eight, we're gonna have an IT manager. And so I think we all know the IT guys. Uh, we know them from either The Office, different shows that we have. Sometimes they're kind of the nerdy, geeky guys, but they're actually the ones that make sure everything's running smoothly. If you've ever had an issue with your computer, ever had an issue with your email, these are the people that come to the rescue and actually are more like superheroes to make sure businesses are running effectively in the digital workplace. And their job, again, is to explain things as simply and fix things as quickly as they can. A lot of the times, these people are uh, in those big heavy board meetings with the CEO and CFO to make sure things like privacy and everything else are protected and make sure everything's running smoothly and we have the best technology available so that our business can grow as much as it can. So the average salary for an IT manager actually falls between $122,000 and $198,000. And becoming an IT manager doesn't just happen overnight. A lot of the times you're going to start off as an IT intern or as a different profession in the IT world to kind of get experience. Because like I said earlier, in the tech industry, being able to show what you've actually done is much more important to being able to show what you actually know. And so building up a good portfolio, making sure that you're reliable, you can understand and communicate effectively as to how to navigate the digital workplace is what a lot of people are looking at. And especially as we kind of continue on into the future with AI and other advancements in technology, having people that can actually explain and navigate this workplace is continuing to increase in demand. So let's jump into number seven, which we're actually going into the financial industry. And these are going to be financial managers. These are the people who actually crunch the numbers. They produce financial reports and profit projections for companies and CEOs to make sure that we're making as many data-driven decisions as possible. They help managers and executives actually understand what's going on so that they can make the best decisions for the company and business in general. And again, communication is key in a lot of these roles. Being able to explain what you know by heart to people who may not have any idea and be able to do that clearly and effectively and quickly is super critical as we continue forward into the workforce. And for a lot of companies, being a financial manager pays really well if you're able to explain and understand the number financially to make sure the company's actually doing well. Most of the salaries range from 99,000 to 191,000. And this is another career that you probably want to pick up a degree from another accredited university and most likely a master's as well, as that's highly sought after to make sure that you know what you're talking about, as well as having the experience to back it up. Uh, again, this isn't really a career that you can kind of just apply for and hopefully get. You need to have something to your resume, something that shows that you know what you're talking about and you can help make that impact. So making sure that you actually have those degrees or certifications. And honestly, a lot of the financial managers actually were former certified public accountants, CPAs. And so that might be an option as well. If you continue down the accountant road, if that's something you're doing right now, great, continue down that road. And maybe a financial manager just might be in your future. So going into number six, we have a physical therapist, and this is another medical profession takes a little bit longer to get into, but once you finally get there, it's super rewarding. You get to help people recover after their surgeries. I mean, if you've ever broken a bone or had some kind of surgery, you've probably met a physical therapist and had to meet with them often to go, to go over various exercises, make sure you're tracking your recovery and making sure everything is recovering the way it should. So these are the people who help people in need when something tragic or traumatic happens with their body, they're usually the ones there to help them work through it. So average salary for a physical therapist ranges from 77,000 to 100,000. And with most jobs in the medical world, it does take some good schooling to actually get this job, usually involving a bachelor's degree, then a physical therapy program and completing some kind of clinical residency. But it's a good option for helping people during stressful times and making sure that people are getting back into top shape. And you get to meet a lot of really awesome people. A lot of the physical therapists that I've known throughout my life are amazing people. They're warm, they're kind, they're gentle, and they just want to help people out. So that's an awesome career. If that's something you're interested in, kind of start working towards that in your schooling or in your future life as well. And usually it takes a little bit of time for you to actually get there. It takes a good amount of schooling, but once you get there and you're helping people out, it is super, super rewarding. Number five, we're going back to the digital world as an information security analyst. And these are kind of the firewall. These are the uh, the bouncers that kind of keep people out of where they should not be. These are the people that help protect your data, your privacy, and make sure that company passwords and critical information are not getting leaked out and not falling prey to cyber attacks. And a lot of us have personal information that are on the web. And so things like VPNs, uh, firewalls, uh, 
virus trackers and whatnot are critical for us to actually have. And these are the people that understand and develop these softwares. Salary ranges anywhere from 79,000 to 131,000. And a lot of computer science understanding is required. A lot of the times it comes from a bachelor's degree or some other certificate from another program. I know there's a lot of tech programs out there from good accredited universities and programs that actually help you understand how to prevent some of these cyber attacks, as well as making sure that security is put in place to make sure information is protected. And as the digital world continues to expand and develop, especially with AI being able to pull so much information, we have to have people who actually understand and can protect that information to make sure it's safe. And this is another one you can kind of start learning on your own, but I would definitely recommend looking into other programs online that you can consider signing up for. And some of them are as short as nine months. And then you can start working as that information security analyst to protect the world from cyber attacks. So that's our number five spot. So coming in at number four is a physician, phys, a physician, a physician's assistant, man, if I could even say the word, she's, uh, these are the people who are actually doing the examining. They provide a lot of the upfront care to patients. They ask all of the questions to try to figure out what's going on so that they can relate as much as they can, uh, to the trained expert and get the right expert kind of on the line. They're kind of the Jack of all trades in the medical world where they're just kind of asking you a lot of questions. They have a really good broad knowledge of a lot of different spaces in the medical world so that hopefully they can lead you to the right expert to get your problem resolved. And this is another career that requires a really good amount of information and training to go into. Many physician's assistants actually have a master's degree and receive admission into the physician assistant program. There's a lot of training and clinical experience that's required and you must be licensed in whatever state you're practicing in. So this is another one where if that's something that really Really interest you if you want to help people out make sure that you help solve their problems talking with people about their issues and making sure you figure out what is the main cause so that you can direct them to the right person this is another awesome example of a good career that you can go into it just takes a little bit of time to actually get there Salary ranges anywhere from 99000 to about $132,000 a year. Again, this is an awesome career for you to get into. You can make some really good money at it as well as help people out when they are in times of need. But it also takes a lot of training and kind of practice and clinical experience to actually get there. So with that covered, let's get into our top three careers of 2023. So our bronze medal and our number three spot goes to medical health services manager. So these are the people who kind of work behind the scenes to make sure everything's running well in a hospital and in care centers. These are people who are usually very detail oriented and have really good analytical skills. Uh, they're also really good at problem solving, really good analytically, and they all their and they also communicate really effectively. They kind of work really closely with doctors and health insurance representatives, as well as other administrators around the care center or hospital. Uh, salary for this position usually falls between $77,000 and $135,000 a year. The main degree of choice is healthcare administration and is something that is an amazing career to go into. And many choose to actually pursue a master's degree as well. These are usually very well-educated people who are very confident in their skills to make decisions and kind of make sure the operations are running as smoothly as possible. Uh, there's also several different certificate programs that you can kind of get into. Once you become a healthcare administrative professional, there's also a lot of conferences, a lot of training and whatnot that goes into it to make sure everyone's doing the best practices as well. And so this is something where you can kind of be on more of the business side of hospital and in the healthcare industry rather than on the medical side. And a lot of people have really fulfilling careers with being a medical health services manager. So that comes in at our number three slot. So let's go into number two. Our number two spot is going to stay in the medical world for a little bit as it goes to nurse practitioners. And these are people that are needed across the country. Uh, every time you look on Indeed or any kind of job listing website, there are so many positions for RNs and for nurses and whatnot. And these kind of all funnel into being those nurse practitioners because it's a job that's in high, high demand because it's a really amazing career, but it takes a little bit of time to get into. So these are people who are also known as advanced RNs. Uh, and many nurses, many of the nurse practitioners work as registered nurses first and usually provide most of the primary care to patients. It's not normally just the doctor. You usually see the doctor periodically to kind of give the final analysis, but a lot of the upfront care is these nurse practitioners. Uh, salary ranges from anywhere from $99,000 to $129,000 a year, which is astounding because more than 50% uh, of nurse practitioners make a six-figure salary. Uh, also, the number of nurses needed are continuing to rise, 
And so it's an amazing program if that's kind of what you're into, into making sure people are taken care of, making sure that they have the help and that, uh, making sure that they have what they need to actually, you know, be healthy and get kind of back into tip top shape. Um, I will also say earlier in your career, there is a lot of hours that you might not want to work. You have really long shifts. So just know it's a lot of effort, but you can actually have a really fulfilling career. And especially where something like COVID just happened a few years ago, these people were the backbone that kind of kept everything moving. Uh, there's a lot of good opportunities out there for RNs and for nurse practitioners. And so this is an awesome career that's going to be continually needed as we kind of move into 2024. And coming in at our number one spot is a software developer. And as you've noticed with a lot of these jobs and a lot of these top tens, it's a lot in the medical and the technology field. And if that doesn't tell you what our world kind of needs right now, it's a lot of people who understand uh, the digital world as well as people who are able to take care of people in the medical field. Um, these are jobs that are needed really heavily right now and will continue to be needed going into the next few years. I don't think technology is going to be able to replace a lot of the medical uh, medical experts that we have. It'll help them make better decisions or whatnot, but there's still going to be a need for people to actually provide that kind of care. So software developers are the ones actually creating programs and software to actually improve efficiency. If you've used any website or any app on your phone, these come from software developers. These are people who are actually developing the code, writing the code to make it as easy as possible to get whatever thing done. With DoorDash, with uh, all of these different apps, Angry Birds, anything that you have used basically on your phone comes from a software developer. And like I said, as technology continues to advance, as AI becomes a little bit more prevalent, being able to create software that can kind of interact between the two and kind of bridge that gap, as well as explaining it to people who might not know anything about technology is going to be increasingly critical. So salary ranges from anywhere of $90,000 a year to $152,000 a year. And this is another one where it's based on your performance. However good you are at developing good software, good code that actually gets the job and solves the problem that you want it to solve, you can actually earn a lot more money. And a lot of the tech industry is actually free. You can actually look up tutorials. You can take free classes on YouTube. Skillshare, another awesome, awesome option for you to actually go into and learn these things. And the tech industry goes a lot from experience. The more you can learn and the more you actually do in the tech world, the better off you're going to be. And you can actually learn UX UI design, which is something I talked about in my episode with Jason Kirshner. And he kind of shares his program. You can go check them out in the link down below. But you kind of learn how to create an app that's actually easy to use so that when people are actually using it, they understand it, they know where to go, it's intuitive, and it makes sense. So software developers are, are really in need and it's something you can start doing from home. It's something that has a lot of remote work opportunities if that's something that interests you. And you can learn a ton about our digital world, making sure things actually work. Uh, I think developing apps and coding things are super cool. It's something I've done a little bit in the past. I, I don't do as much now, but I did learn HTML. I was learning Java. I was learning C plus uh, just because I thought it was something that was super interesting to me. And so if it's something that interests you, try to go check out some of these different careers that I talked about today. See if it's something that interests you and start picking it up. A lot of these tech jobs, which is kind of more of what I'm akin to, uh, as opposed to a lot of these medical careers, you can actually start learning today. So going into 2024, I hope it's something you kind of pick up and start learning about. So there you have it, guys. I hope that helps you out. I hope it gives you some other ideas as well as shows you some of the best careers to kind of consider going into, whether you're just starting out in college or whether it's something you want to do in the future. A lot of these jobs you can actually start doing on the side, kind of start learning on uh, on your own and start implementing ways that you can actually apply that learning uh, into your future. And as we go into 2024, I hope you guys have had an awesome year and I hope you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.